Welcome. So, okay, so we have five sun citations. We're going to do them quite quickly today. Uh, Max's feedback, um, which might be that of a lot of kids, is that we're holding our downer dogs for a little bit too long. And uh, for kids Max's age and a bit younger, it's not very comfortable to hold the downer dog for a long period of time just because of their arm muscle development. So we're going to do this, we're going to do five sun salutations. We're going to do a balancing pose in between each. So I'll just demonstrate now. So we're just going to uh, lift up our right leg, it's fine, our real right leg. So sometimes we mirror in her classes, oops. Okay, we're going to bend our left knee and then place our right foot on our left knee. Okay, and then switch. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. So that's what we're going to do in between. Okay, so we'll do four more. Okay, so we're going to start our first sun citation. So standing in mountain pose. Inhale, lifting the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, bending the knees. Hands come down to the floor. Inhale, come up, halfway look forward. Now stepping back into the plank. And then we lower down into a low plank. Okay, to drop the knees, speed line. Tighten the abdomen, lowering down. Inhale, lifting into cobra or up dog by straightening the arms. Exhale, coming to down dog. Take one breath in dog. On your next inhale, look forward, step both feet to the front of the mat, come up to fingertips, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, full forward fold, bend the knees, hands to the floor. Drop the head. Inhale, standing, lifting arms up overhead. Exhale, back to center. So start balancing. Hands on hips, lifting right knee. Bending left slightly. So make a little shelf and placing that leg down. So what this pose is good for is for balance. And it's also good to stretch out the glutes so you can lower a bit more. Coming back up, switching legs, lifting the other leg, left leg. I know it's hard to balance, it's okay, so just go easy on yourself. If you're feeling wobbly, that's fine. Just give it a try, that's all we're doing, just give it a try. So then we eventually get stronger in this pose and we can, we can come down a little more. So, okay, mountain pose, sun salutation two. Ready? Okay guys, inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, hands come down to the floor, head to knees. Inhale, come up halfway. So a half forward fold, Ardha Uttanasana. So hands step down, step back into the plank. Tighten the abdomen, maybe lift the pelvic floor. Lower down, keeping the elbows tight to the side of the body. Lengthen through the neck. Inhale, reaching chest forward, lifting the cobra for upward dog. Exhaling, coming into down dog. So bending the knees, pushing up, spreading the hands. Deep breath here, pedal one foot at a time. So push one heel down and then the other. Inhale, look forward, stepping both feet to the front of the mat, coming up to fingertips. So our half forward foot, you can hang the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, hands come into contact with the mat. Drop the head down gently. Inhale, lift your hands up, lifting. Exhale, back to center. Okay, again, hands on hips, lifting right knee. So this will be easier each time, we're practicing. So, bending, oops, see I'm wobbling, bending that other knee, making that little shelf. So we're placing the leg. So maybe we can think about it, we have more balance, we can open up. So you can also lean against the wall, so you don't have to feel forced to um, do the full balance. Okay, standing up. We are. We're all out of We're good, we're good. Okay. okay, so lifting up left knee, bending that right to make that shelf, coming down, oops. So, still any balancing pose, tighten the abdomen. Finding a focus in front of you, so any of these balancing leg poses. So sitting down, eventually you can lean a bit forward. You might start to feel a stretch in the glutes. So a lot of these poses have both like purpose. Okay, so we're coming back up. Good, well done guys. Okay, so we're on the third one, aren't we? Yep. Okay, three more to go. Stand mountain pose. Okay, soften the shoulders in mountain pose as well. Inhale, lifting the arms up overhead. 
Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, hands coming to the floor. Inhale, lift up halfway, so straighten your legs forward. Stay back into plank. Tighten the abdomen. We're lengthening through the whole spine. Try not to drop the head down. Full length of the spine. Lower down. With control. Inhale, lifting chest forward, lifting. Reaching with our chest into upward dog or cobra. Exhaling into down dog. So shake the hips side to side. This is another thing. Also, just really spreading the fingers. If you spread your fingers, Max, really open up the fingers, put using the whole palm. Okay, on your next inhale, looking forward, stepping both feet to the front, come up to fingertips, look forward. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, standing, lifting arms overhead. Exhale, hands come back to center. Okay, more balancing, but this is practice. So, lifting up, right knee. So, bending the other standing leg a little bit, placing that foot or ankle or any part of the leg. So sometimes the ankle digs in, so just try to find a place that feels comfortable. So we can lower a little bit. So this pose, we're trying to feel a good stretch in the hips, glutes. Okay, slowly come back up. Switching legs. Again, you can feel free to use the wall. Yeah, you can, you can move off on that, use the wall if you want. Inhaling, lifting legs, excuse me, be one leg, be left leg. Bending the other knee and finding that place that feels comfortable, lowering down. Good lengthening. So we're always trying to lengthen the spine as well. So good spine alignment. Okay, coming back up. Okay, good. Mountain pose. Good. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. So really feeling the stretch now. Letting the head drop down. Inhale, length the spine. So we're coming up halfway. Look forward, trying to flatten our back, feeling in the middle of the back. Step back in the plank. Strong plank. Push the heels away, tighten the abs and lowering down. Elbows hugging the side of the body. Inhale, lifting the chest. Tops of the feet on the mat, coming up to upper dog or cobra. Exhale, pushing the tailbone upward. So we're trying to, in downward dog, lifting the tailbone. Feeling strong in the back, the back of the legs, driving the heels down, but being gentle. We don't need to be, we're not forcing it. On your next inhale, look forward, step both feet to the front of the back. Come up two fingertips, or just hanging here. Exhaling, pull forward, fold. Inhale, standing, slowly rising, bending the knees a bit, lifting the arms. Really strong, lifting, body stretch, come back to center. Okay, hands on hips again. Inhale, lifting right leg, bending knee, coming into our balance. We're getting this. This is, this is the path to mastery of this pose, of this balancing pose, or any balancing pose. Sitting down, a little warm. Maybe even dropping the hands down a little bit. Lengthening through the spine. So you feel that tailbone just tucking outward, not tucking outward, just Pointing outwards, so we have that long spine. Okay, standing up, switching legs, hands on hips, lifting up left leg, placing onto right, right knee. Still feel that lift of the spine, sitting down a little more. Maybe, maybe dropping the hands. Okay, slowly coming back up. Okay, one more time. Yeah, yeah, big spirals. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so mountain pose, inhale, lift the arm up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Really enjoying the breathing, enjoying the stretching. Inhale, come up halfway, lift forward. And stepping back into plank, and then lowering down. Low plank, count to where you go. Inhale, lift you forward, either cobra or straighten arms for upward dog. Exhaling, bringing the toes under, knees down, facing dog. Just releasing the neck, trying to lift the tailbone, really strong hands, so pushing all the hands on the mat. On your in next inhale, look forward, stepping both feet to the front. Come up to fingertips, lengthen, look forward, exhaling, full forward fold. So 
bending the knees, hands pressing on the mat. Inhale, slowly standing with the knees bent, lifting, full body stretch. Nice, strong stretch, come back to center, and then our final balancing pose. Okay, so hands on hips, inhale, lifting up, right knee. Okay, bending the other leg, placing the right foot, ankle, or that lower part of the leg onto, oops, onto that left knee shelf. Okay. Lengthen through the spine, so try not to round the back. And lower down. Okay, slowly coming back up. Okay, lifting up the other leg. Oops. Placing it onto the knee. And letting the hands drop down. I mean, what Tim's doing, he's now doing something with hands, which is great. So you can do whatever you'd like, whatever variation you like, bless you, Max. Okay. And then we're slowly coming back up. Coming back full. Okay, well, thanks guys for joining. Just like to throw some variation in to make it interesting. We have shorter downward dogs, which is uh, better for people who aren't used to doing downward dog or for kids master's age. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow, I hope. Take care, thanks. Thank you.